And we're live. Another What's Up Wednesday, episode 101. 101 consecutive weeks of helping you be a better RVer. Whether you're shopping, researching, taking cool trips of days, weeks, or months, or even maybe full-time traveler like myself. Howdy, my name is Scott. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. It is a delight to have you here. We have an amazing show for you tonight, and we've been working on this for a long time. And this is a culmination of really good partnership. This is a special show. We have um, one topic tonight and one topic only. We have a giant crowd in here already. This is great. Our topic tonight is Wingham. They are an Italian RV manufacturer, compact RVs. They are importing one of their best sellers to the USA. And we have them as our special guest tonight. And we want to um, show you some information and answer your questions. What we're not doing tonight is what we typically do, which is have libation live because we are think we're going to go uh, the full hour without any eruption so if you join us for another what's up wednesday what we do is we like to do libation live and we also like to do song of the week or movie of the week which we are not doing tonight so uh, with that we just want to get right into the the uh, meat of the matter which is this really compelling rig if you've not seen this before this is the oac 540 importer from italy manufactured by wingham and um, I'm just super pumped to uh, share some information with you, have Wingham share some information with you. And um, we want to take your questions, too. What we're going to try and do is answer some questions right out of the gate with some in initial information. We see a lot of comments coming in here already. And that um, is awesome. If you can help me out and use this question format, which is three asterisks followed by three question marks and then pose your question. That will really help me find your um, your question, and then we can get to it more quickly. Fair enough? A couple more points we want to get into. Uh, camper van tips. We are starting up our camper van tips. If you have a camper van already, kind of an RV, really any type, but uh, camper vans in particular, we would love your uh, your tips, and we share with everybody. I've learned as much from you as you probably learned from me, and that's the email address right there where you want to send those tips. Thank you for so many of you for sending those in. Uh, last thing we want to talk about uh, for this part, and I'll tell you where I'm coming at you from, is uh, the tip jar. So uh, if you find value in this content, please, um, and only when you find value, uh, cl uh, click the um, the dollar sign down by the chat text field. You see your options for a YouTube super chat or super stickers. That goes right to um, channel support, and uh, we get a jingle in the jar too, which is pretty cool. We'd like to do that. Uh, if you're having a good day today, we sure would appreciate a thumb up. That would be awesome. Where am I coming at you from? I'm coming at you from home base, Florida. Where in the heck is that? Uh, let me show you where that is. We've got uh, Wingham in the green room just chilling, so hang tight, folks. Uh, this is southern Florida near West Palm Beach. That's where I'm coming at you from tonight. Just arrived in home base uh, last week after um, roaming around since April of this year. Weather, we always like to talk about weather. And it's endless summer here in Florida. This is the highs for today. You can see the white dots. And it's pretty chilly across the country, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we always like to know what the weather's like in your area. In my area, is, uh, we like to share gasoline pricing. So there's a 70 cent spread on gasoline. If you're not using Gas Buddy, the app, you'll want to get that on your phone. And 70 cents is a pretty big difference. And they're usually just up within a few miles of that, that much savings. And then the Florida area, area where I am, real estate is pretty expensive for what you get in particular. Half a million bucks doesn't buy a whole lot here in the southern Florida area uh, near West Palm Beach. Uh, but let us um, know what the gasoline price is in your area, where you're watching from, and your um, weather. What's up Wednesday? We have guests. We have topics. We have guests tonight, Wingham, on the show here in just a minute. Next week, we're I'm decorating my camper van on the inside. I am not covering my van with lights. Uh, if you want to join us, uh, jump in your camper van with 20 bucks of dollar, with dollar store stuff or decorate, I don't know, your TV room where you're watching from. Uh, you'll want to watch us do that live. Other upcoming guests, we just work really hard to bring in people to uh, help you be a better, um, you know, a traveler in your RV. Uh, van Life, they're a builder. Road Trek is a, is a great builder of vans. Live More, that's kind of adventure vans. And then we got Outdoorsy, that's kind of the Airbnb for the RV world. So again, we work really hard to bring in really compelling guests for you, like Wingham tonight, to help you understand uh, how to travel in your rig. Follow me on Instagram, that's always fun. A couple more things. 
If you are watching from a country that's not on the map here, please do us a favor and give us a shout out uh, from the country you're coming in from for like, I don't know, uh, Ecuador or uh, Vietnam or, you know, pick it wherever you're coming in from. Let us know. We'll put your uh, your flag on the map. We just like to do that. And let's know where you're watching from. What we're not going to do tonight is, is say hi to a bunch of our regulars and some of the new folks because we have such a uh, such an action packed show and uh, we're running a few months late already. So van events. These are really um, important and we've got some really big ones coming up. Let me get in here for you. Mark your calendars this Saturday or this Saturday, this Friday, 2.30 uh, p.m. Central. We've got uh, Embassy RV on the show. Again, if you're shopping for a compelling innovation in a camper van, three floor plans, three chassis, you don't want to miss that. We mentioned we're going to be at the Florida RV Super Show in January. On Thursday, we're doing a roundup at the Lazy Days RV Winnebago Travato booth. You don't want to miss that. Volta, who makes a Pure 3 lithium system in the Travato, is going to be joining us. But wait, there's more. We're doing, we're joining a camp out. Uh, I call them Camp uh, Van Berees. And uh, this is going to be February 3rd to the 5th. FloridaVanLife.com is the URL. Buy your tickets there. Use the savings code GSLL15, and you can save 15% off, which is awesome. But wait for it. There's one more that's just gotten added today. And that is we're doing a Texas Vanbury, this channel, March 11 to 13. We are uh, going to have ten camper, up to 10 camper vans. Uh, you have to be self-contained. We're visiting Lukenbach, Texas, Fredericksburg, Texas. There's live music, shopping, wine tasting, history, and it's all about Van Life Fellowship. Save the date. Details coming soon. I'm just so excited. I want to give a big shout out to Frisco T, uh, Audience Angel, for helping me get this set up. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and it's coming to fruition. So, again, save the date, March 11 to 13. If you don't have a camper van yet, you're welcome to join us. You just can't camp with us, but there's a lot of hotels in the Fredericksburg area. All right. YouTube videos, if you haven't seen the one we did on the uh, Heimer last week, you want to see that. It's a really compelling unit that's a few years old, but still a compelling unit. I think that's it, right? Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you like van tours, tips, products, and places. All right, so I think we got Wingham teed up. Let me take the mute off, and I am going to bring them. Unmute Mike. There we go. Uh, okay, so if you guys can come off mute, there you go. So what I want to do is introduce you to... Uh, that would be Tony and Joel. Say hi, Tony. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are thrilled to be here. Thank you so much, Scott, for having us. And thank you to all of your uh, viewers and all the Wingham fans out there for tuning in. Yeah, it's so great to have you. So um, Tony is the exclusive distributor for the Wingham North America. And Joel, he's having bandwidth issues, so he had to turn his camera off. But he's the uh, talking logo there. Um, Joel, head of product support, say hi to the folks. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having us. So um, Tony's going to do a, a fair amount of talking with me. Tony's or Joel's going to back us up with some of the technical stuff. Um, so we're just really excited to get into this uh, program tonight. So again, what we want to do is here's kind of our outline for tonight. Uh, just talk briefly about who is Wingham, in case you're not aware. We have four huge announcements Tony's going to make. Uh, tonight for the first time ever on planet earth i am so honored to have you here and uh, you guys are keepers of your word because we talked about this in february of this year and here we are middle of december so here we are finally we're going to get also into some of the specifications there's there's um been some updates so we want to talk about that but tony's really interested and so is joel talking about wingham's w factor that's what makes wingham different than everybody else so while the specifications are important that's the W factor that we really want to spend some time with. Is that fair, Tony? Absolutely. Okay. And then many of you um, are itching to uh, learn about how to see this, how to drive it, how to buy it, what's the price. We're actually going to do a demo of the uh, configurator on Wingham site live tonight. So, and we do want to get your questions. What we, uh, if you can use the format, I see a bunch of questions in here already, um, but we're going to try and do is answer some of those questions up front so we can get to the ones that aren't kind of the obvious-ish ones, um, hopefully that makes sense to you. All right. How did this whole thing get started? Well, Wingham, you guys were at the Tampa Super Show in January of 2022, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. We and, were. and what was the response from, from the crowd? It, it was extremely positive. We couldn't have been happier, uh, not just to hear what everyone thought, because, you know, we had sort of been um, working on this blind for uh, a couple of years uh, you know, we thought it was an incredible product, but we didn't know what uh, the, you know, 
all of the potential customers and uh, all of the attendees at the show would think. And we were, we were very, very flattered that uh, everyone sort of shared in the enthusiasm that we had. Uh, so it was, a, it was a terrific experience. It was truly a, a really a, a fantastic location, number one. And um, it really got everybody's juices going. Um, so t- tonight, uh, what we, I did a survey earlier today uh, what, what topic you're most interested in uh, hearing from Wingham today? So we're going to actually address each one of these in spades. Um, price, the, uh, the the one, I think you're going to be pretty happy with Tony's comments on price. Um, I think you're going to be pretty happy. But first, let's talk about a little bit, who is Wingham? And Tony, maybe just give us a little uh, short history on, on Wingham. Sorry, I just knocked my table leg. Um, who is Wingham? How did you get involved? And uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about Wingham. Uh, absolutely. So Wingham is a family-owned company uh, that has been producing motorhomes and travel trailers for 45 years, uh, all throughout Europe, Asia, and Australia. Uh, they're now coming to the U.S. I, I love telling the story about how we got involved. Uh, my partner and I, our background is hospitality. We owned a kind of a hybrid between a boutique hotel uh, company and a corporate apartment company, and we had an idea for a RV rental concept. And so we were complete novices at the time. I think this was around 2018 or maybe the beginning of 2019. And so we had just, you know, we figured, hey, we've got this RV rental concept idea. Uh, We've been hearing about these legacy RV manufacturers for our entire lives. And so they must make some amazing product. So we went to these RV shows and uh, it was like, talk about a a bucket of cold water uh, dumped on our head uh, we were very disappointed with the product. We thought it was deficient uh, with all of the products that we saw. We thought they were very deficient in many, many ways. And we were about to give up on this RV rental concept. And then one night at like two in the morning, I'm on YouTube looking, you know, looking at videos of compact RVs and into my YouTube feed pops this video of the Wingham OAC 540. And I actually thought it was like a, I thought it was like a concept RV because uh, it, it looked like something from the future. I, I, I did not think that it was, it was actually something that could be purchased and driven uh, at, at, uh, at that time. And then I realized it was the following morning. I called my partner up. I said, I was like, dude, pack your bags. We're going to Italy. Uh, I think a week or two later, we were in the uh, CEO's office, enthusiastically telling her about, uh, you know, the need to get these to America. She agreed. And then sort of the rest is history. And that, that sort of evolved into us uh, being the exclusive North American distributor. It's just so cool. And this is a picture of their plant in Verona, Italy, right? Yep. Uh, th- that's actually their showroom. Showroom? Yeah. Yeah, that's their in showroom. Italy. Yep. They have uh, sort of two, two factories. One is actually behind uh, that showroom, which is where they make the, uh, the monocoque shell. And then they have another factory where they make the cabinets and they sort of put everything together. So I am, uh, thank you for that. It's, um, and I was just in Italy. I, I was so not planning ahead. Um, but anyway, good reason to go back. Uh, so like you, many of you, I'm kind of curious about where this name came from and their logo. I did a little bit of research on their website. Um, this is a Falcon, the pe- Peregrine Falcon. I had no clue about this. Anybody know that this is the fastest living thing on earth in a dive? It's a bird of prey, so going for its, its supper, it can go up to 241 miles an hour. I don't think you can get an aircraft to go down that fast. Um, and what's cool is it's kind of the inspiration behind Wingham. And if you take a second kind of read this, it gets you almost goosebumps, right? Because this is kind of the philosophy of Wingham. And I think if you're not familiar with, we're going to share some innovation uh, information with you tonight, that just uh, including how you buy this uh, this vehicle. It's really pretty crazy, right? But um, uh, uh, Tony, this is kind of their first rig out of the gate, right? That's right, 1977, that's when they first launched. It's pretty exciting. Now, over the decades, 41 years, I think you said, um, this is kind of where we're at. 45. 45, thank you. Don't forget about those extra four. (laughs) (laughs) You know, because it makes a difference, because from this to this, this we really gonna spend some time on today, uh, which is just really compelling. And I see some questions in here, Tony, um, so if you go to Wingham's website, Wingham.com, it flips over to a U.S. site. Um, the OEC 540 is one of five models, right? 
Um, some of you have asked if the other rigs are coming. So maybe just take a minute and, and real high level, uh, because it says come to us, maybe just kind of set some expectations around this because the focus right now is on the 540, but what are we looking at here? Uh, absolutely. So we're launching with the Wingham Oasis 540.1, which I know we're going to talk about a little bit later in your show in 2023. And then the Oasis 690 and the Oasis 610 will be coming in 2024. That's the plan. So it's, Whoa, there we go, <laughs> everybody. Um, oh, oh, so by the way, one more thing I want to mention is uh, there is a new model uh, for the OAC 610, the OAC 610M, which I think your uh, viewers will be very enthusiastic to learn about, which we'll be, we'll be sort of posting and talking about in the coming weeks. So we'll be having you back on the show. I'm pretty sure that's awesome. That's how, um, I, that's how I get my way into the next show. You know, I got to tease something. <laughs> And again, this is not sponsored. I just love sharing this um, this information with y'all. And um, what Tony was again good enough in the team is to be on the show and give me access to that uh, rig uh, next month, which I'm so excited about. Um, so this is a quote from the CEO. We're going to actually hear her voice here in a couple of minutes. But it's always been her dream to bring this family business to America, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to get into the next, uh, the four huge announcement here in just a minute. But I just love this story you told me, Tony, of uh, the actual founder of Wingham. And, and it goes yeah. back to the philosophy of the company and how this is so vastly different than uh, for, for a um, you know, volume manufacturer. What, what's the story on this? Well, like I mentioned earlier, this is a Wingham is a family owned company. And it was founded by Leopold Torrey 45 years ago. And it's important to know that he was not in finance before he founded Wingham. He was a uh, artisan furniture maker. And I think when you think about that as, as his background, it sort of makes sense that, uh, that, that, that Wingham is the product that it is. And so a, a great story that I love to tell is um, when we were in Italy in 2021, the summer of 2021, uh, Lorena Torre, uh, Leopold's daughter, who's now the CEO, was giving us a tour of the factory floor. And I noticed, because it was just very out of place, there was this older man, looked like he was like in his mid-80s, uh, surrounded by sort of a, a, a team of individuals, uh, pointing to different things um, on, a, uh, on a certain motorhome model. And I said to Lorena, I said, Lorena, you know, who is that? Uh, because at his age, it he didn't really belong on the factory floor. And she chuckled and she said, oh, that's my dad. And she said, you know, um, his hobby is pressing olives into olive oil. So for his retirement, uh, we figured we'd buy him an olive farm. Uh, but he hasn't spent a day on his olive farm pressing olives. He still comes every single day to the factory floor to inspect all the models as they roll off um, the assembly line to make sure that they are perfect. And that's what he was doing on that on that day. That is so great. It's just such a, you know, something about the founder's juice kind of being in the business all that stuff. Sam mm -hmm. Walton kind of did the same thing, right? Right into his late, late, late in life. He would wander through a store kind of by surprise. And um, just you know, something about the juice of the owner, right? Um, all right, let's get into our announcements. This is pretty big stuff. So uh, four huge announcements. So announcement number one, I'm going to let Tony um, read this. And then we're going to actually step away to hear a video. But uh, Tony, what are we going to see here? Thank you, Scott. So I am thrilled to have Scott play a video. I'm not going to spoil it of myself with Wingham CEO Lorena Tode uh, in their factory, um, making a big announcement for all Wingham fans, our existing reservation holders, and everyone who is thinking about purchasing Wingham. Hey, Scott, I think you're on mute. So turn your volume up because this video is a little hard to hear, but uh, this is the CEO, Lorena, talking about Wingham and the big announcement. Here we go. Hello, everyone. I am thrilled to be standing here with Wingham CEO, Lorena Torre, in Verona, Italy, at Wingham's production facility. Ciao to all our U.S. customers. I'm Lorena Turi, and I'm the CEO of Wingen Group Italy. We are today at our manufacturing facility in Verona, Italy, and we are now in front of the mold for the OAZ 540 U.S. Um, as we are speaking, all our U.S. ProMaster chassis are being produced at the Stellantis facility in Mexico, and we are going to get them very soon. 
We then start the production of the OASI 540 for the U.S. market, and we're going to deliver them in the U.S. in spring 2023. On behalf of myself and of all my team, I'm glad to thank you all for your commitment on our motor homes, and we're looking forward to see our OASI 540 running on the U.S. roads. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. That is so cool. Maybe, Tony, just help us understand that a little bit better as I shift gears here. Uh, absolutely. Um, the exciting news is that our chassis are uh, being made as we talk on your show this evening at Stellantis' manufacturing plant uh, in Mexico. Uh, as Lorena mentioned, she is uh, standing in front of the monocoque shell for uh, the U.S. model. And uh, as soon as the chassis get shipped to Verona, to, her, to the factory, uh, they are going to go into production with expected delivery to be in the spring of 2023. That is such great news, and everybody's been waiting for that big time. Um, all right, announcement number two. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Tony, Super Show, Tampa, yes. next month. Is that right? Yes. We had, yes, we had such a good time uh, at the last show, and we've had so many people contacting us, asking us to come back. It was sort of a no-brainer. Obviously, we're going to come back, but we appreciate everyone's enthusiasm. And so we will be back at the RV Super Show in Tampa in January of 2023. So if you're kind of itching to get your feet in this, put your bottom in one of the seats and kind of get the real walkthrough with the team, um, this is the place to go. So if you've been kind of on the edge going to Tampa or not, and Tampa in January is amazing uh, weather-wise, and uh, this is a good reason to kind of get you over the, over the hump and show up in Tampa uh, for the RV Super Show. And Scott, let me mention one thing that I think your viewers uh, will, will find helpful is the model that will be in Tampa will be the European model built on the Fiat Ducato chassis. So it will be the exact same a model that was there last year, uh, because as I mentioned, the U.S. models will be coming in the spring. Well said, sir. All right. Are you folks ready? Announcement number three. I'm really excited about this one, too. Tony, what's the big news here? What is GSLL go small, live because large? I, I feel like this is the biggest news of the evening, <laughs> is that it is with great pleasure, and it's our privilege that you, Scott, are going to be the first on U.S. soil to spend a night and test and use uh, the Wingham OAC 540 from the RV Super Show in Tampa. I am so honored. Thank you so much. Um, it just takes a long time to get a good relationship going, and this is the fruits of our effort here. And I had, it's actually going to be a very sleepless night. I'm going to be recording live, YouTube live, uh, recording a bunch of videos there, and uh, I'm just so excited. So thank you again for the honor of being the first person to be overnighting in a Wingham on U.S. soil. Uh, that's a big deal. But wait, it is our privilege. I appreciate it so much. But wait, there's one more announcement. Number four, ready? Specifications. Yes. You guys have been really busy. Yes. Uh, we're going to share some of that tonight, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to talk all about the 540.1. You know, since we uh, first started showing the Wingham OAC 540 in the US, we've gotten countless emails and phone calls with a constructive criticism. Uh, people pointed out, you know, th this could be improved or that should be improved. And uh, what I want to let all of your viewers and our customers know is, is that we were paying attention. Uh, we were uh, taking account of all of that data and we gave all of that to Wingham Corporate. And I think you'll find tonight that uh, your feedback was uh, well received and that you'll see a lot of what you asked for um, implemented into the 2023 Wingham OAC 540.1. You are so right. And you folks will be stunned when you see some of this. So they gave me a little peek behind the curtain. You're going to see that tonight for the first time. And uh, again, I think you're going to be pretty stunned um, and well worth the uh, extra few months here. So we really want to get to your questions, um, but we want to kind of get into the specs. I'm sorry to kind of put you through this, but we've got, I, I've been scanning the, the questions and a lot of them are going to be addressed in the next few minutes. So hang with us, please use the question format. And Tony, let's kind of, and Joel, let's kind of get into this. This is the 540. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to zoom in here. Um, Tony and Joel, if you can just kind of tell us what we're looking at. This is a bird's eye view of the floor plan, maybe starting at the chassis cab, which is the right, moving to the back. What are we looking at here? Sure, sure. Um, so uh, from a bird's eye view, the thing that you'll see first on the right is the driver's and passenger seat, which have now swiveled around. We think that one of the most exciting things about the Wingham OAC 540 is in this small footprint, in the 17-foot, 9-inch uh, footprint, 
you have seating at the dining room table for five, uh, which uh, we believe, it's our understanding that that is a lot more than anything else of that size. Uh, as we work our way, then you see the dining room table. And what's important for uh, your viewers to know, Scott, is that that table converts to a second bed. So you, um, with your foot, you hit a button, the uh, dining room table goes down, and then there's a cushion put on top of that dining room table, and now you have your second bed. Um, just below that is your um, kitchen. I think it's really important to point out that to the right of that white box, uh, that's countertop space. Um, so you can see that countertop space is almost the same size as your sink and your cooktop combined. So you really have like what we feel is a kitchen that is like the same experience as being in a studio apartment. Um, then if I go just to the left of that, that is the front door. And I, I'm always talking about this, but one of the things that I love so much about Wingham's product is because of the monocoque shell, you have like this formal dining, a formal uh, front door. It's not, you know, the utility door like on everyone else's that you slide open, um, which there's certainly nothing nice about that experience. This is like a formal front door into your mobile home. Uh, and then just to the left of that is uh, the uh, closet. And then just above that is the bathroom, which I think uh, anyone who's seen it, um, or if you want to go and look at pictures and videos online, I think you will find that that experience is like the same as, a, as the bathroom in a small boutique hotel. It is far larger than anything else of comparable size and far more luxurious too. There's a, uh, a, a medicine cabinet. Uh, there's an actual real vanity um, with countertop space and storage underneath. And then of course, which we'll talk about a little bit later on is the toilet, which is actually a cassette toilet, which we think is one of also the very exciting um, aspects of, of the Wingham product is that it is not the um, hose system. Instead, it is a, a cassette system, which we can talk more about. We could talk about that. Wait till you folks see the shower. You may not have seen this unless you were there in person. So last week I posted a, a poll uh, survey. Uh, what's the number one thing you really want? Uh, the most compelling feature of the OAC 540. And the number one thing here is full featured motorhome in a tiny footprint. I really wanted to punctuate this tiny footprint because it's hard to get your arms, legs, and brain around how much is yeah. in this rig without doing some comparisons. So you're ready for this? It's a little bit of a math lesson. So get your pen and paper out and help me out with this. So, uh, Tony, can I tell us um, the, and I think the important thing here is the feet, but the inches, because that's going to matter in a minute, because I've got some uh, some stuff here. So help us with that. What are we looking at here? Uh, and qu quick correction, it's actually 17.9. Uh, 0.9. Um, 0.9, all right. Yeah, my, 0 .9, um, which, which just to point out, out to everybody watching, a standard parking space in the U.S. is, is 19 feet. So we see the Wingham OAC 540 as something that's not just great to take in nature, but this is something that you can use in the city. As an alter as an alternative to uh, um, you know your uh, whether it be your sort of pickup truck or your family vehicle um, or your minivan. So okay, let's compare it to the best selling Class B RV in North America. That's the Winnebago Travado on the Ram thirty five hundred Promaster chassis. This thing is two hundred fifty two inches long, and I converted for you international folks six point four meters. I have no idea what that is, but twenty one feet. 252 inches. The big thing here on length is the Travado is uh, three feet six inches longer. That's and right. what's magic about this, you ready for this? I'll go back. The width of the Wingham OAC is 88.5 inches. It's only a few inches wider than the Travado, but it packs so much more in, right? Oh my gosh. But wait, there's more. It's like, okay, it's a Travado, it's a big old van, I get it. But how big, so Tony, walk us through this. Honda, I'll say one of the best-selling minivans in the country. Right. Um, how, eight, 17 feet, what, what's the story here? Yeah, so the Wingham Away C540 is only nine inches longer than a Honda Odyssey minivan. So for those of you who uh, you know have two children and you, uh, you know, find yourself driving for an hour to your soccer meets on the weekends, um, you know, or you... Uh, uh, you know, just travel long distances with your family and you're finding you always have to pull over to go to the bathroom, but yet you need something that works well in the city. Wingham OAC 540 is the, is the answer for you. So you can have a, a home on wheels, That's all the right. comforts of a fully featured motor home, That's right. a few inches more than an Odyssey, feet less than Travato, feet less than a Ford F-150, 
it's pretty amazing. Let me just show a few pictures in case you haven't seen this. We're going to answer some questions. Um, so this is kind of looking, right, Tony, from the, the cab to the back of the vehicle. That's right. So stunning, so clean. No motorhome in America looks like this. This is from kind of the entry door looking forward to the cab. That's right. And I think the secret sauce is, well, one of the secrets is the bed pulls out of the ceiling. What is That's this right. thing? That's right. <laughs> that is Wingham's patented drop-down bed, uh, which is made possible because of the monocoque shell. And what I love so much about it is when you actually get in the bed, it's not like uh, you don't feel like claustrophobic at all. And especially the two skylights directly above you um, help just enhance the experience. It's, I mean, imagine laying there in, at night. Yeah in bed, look at the stars, the moon. I love sleeping in moonlight. I'm not sure about you, but I rarely cover up my windows if I'm in a place where I don't have to, so I can sleep in moonlight. It's just the most surreal. And if you got friends and family coming along, you're upstairs, up the ladder, um, and your guests, family, kids, whatever, are downstairs in a pretty good sized bed. So you can really sleep about four people in this thing pretty easily. It's pretty amazing. And All Scott, that, if you wanna bring your friends and family up on the bed, it's a 771 weight limit on that bed so 700 pounds you can, have a so party that's, you can have a party up there everybody's in bed doing ouija boards um are you ready to see the bathroom this was new information for me uh look at this bathroom and what are we looking at on the the left image there tony kind of the black and white vertical what is that that is the shower it, i mean that's the shower it looks like a like a luxury shower in a fancy hotel doesn't it boutique hotel i can't wait do I get to shower in the, in the rig that night? I don't know. Uh, then this is the bathroom. Like I said, there's the vanity, the sink. It's just the most amazing space, right? I agree. All of that in 17.9 feet. That fits in less than a standard driveway or um, parking spot. Pretty amazing. All right, let's take a pause. We're going to cover specifications in a minute, but we got a lot of questions, so I don't want to keep people chomping at the bit. Uh, let me go here, and we'll go here. So let me kind of zoom up to the top. Um, again, if you can help us with the, the format, that makes a giant uh, help for me. Um, uh, so Brian, thank you. We kind of answered that already coming, but, um, 2024, I think you said ish, right. On the, uh, OAC 610 GL. The, the, the plan for the 610 plan and the 690 is, is uh, 2024. Okay. Um, this is a good question on the chassis. We're going to cover chassis here in just a minute, but Brian's wanting to know what options are planned when ordering the ProMaster. Nice to have a fully featured, loaded, uh, all the safety and entertainment stuff uh, since uh, the OAC is top of the line. Um, are they coming all fully loaded, or is there a bunch of options that on the chassis part? They are fully loaded. Uh, we're going to be sending out and posting the actual configurator of the wing of the sorry excuse me of the ram promaster chassis so everyone can see what's included that, that'll be coming out uh next week and we'll just add we kind of looked at this uh they've just been super busy iterating taking feedback and really making this happen so it wasn't anything probably intentional but i think we're all going to be benefiting from it he does have a good question here wilderness disney dad would it be possible to replace the cassette toilet with a dry flush whether by Wingham or an aftermarket. Any idea on that, Joel, or? Uh, we have been getting some questions like this. Um, as of right now, there there isn't an option uh, coming from Wingham from, for that. But, um, you know, I'd imagine if you were very enthusiastic about it, you could do that in an aftermarket. So that's a, that's a, that's a good answer. And the, the only thing that I would add to that, though, is, is that uh, that, that would, um, um, you would not you would not qualify for Wingham's warranty if you did change out the toilet. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm looking for some questions. We got a lot of folks in here tonight, some regulars and some new folks. Um, here's a little Italian. Ciao, Wingham. <laughs> That's great. Um, here is uh, John. Thank you very much for your super chat. Certainly appreciate that. Um, that helps me with Libation Live next week. You don't want to miss that. We've got some, uh, we were at the Whiskies of the World last weekend. If you're into bourbon and whiskey, I'm kind of an affectionate. Uh, Tony, do you like uh, do you like bourbon at all or whiskey, Joel? 100%. Love it. 100%. Love it. <laughs> um, we're going to be sharing some bottles. Um, I made some really good contacts in the bourbon industry last week, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, Mesa Mike wants to know about lithium. We're going to get to that here in just a moment, so hang tight. 
I'm kind of skipping so we can get to these questions. Uh, so Tom, we've talked about this. So Tom wants to know, will Wingham also introduce their OAC 610 GL as rear garage, larger bathroom, separate shower? So uh, it's in the plan, right, Tony? That is the plan. Yep, 2024. And a lot of folks are curious about this. So this is uh, Dan wanting to know, will the 610 o OAC be available for in the U.S. for preview prior to 2024? Uh, we have communicated with uh, William Corporate about that. I just don't have a, a, an exact answer. And Travel Dreamer wants to know, maybe Joel, you can help us. With, any idea the width of the door opening? You know, I was actually, I saw that question. I was digging through my notes here. Um, I believe it's 29 inches. I'm, I am going to get a confirmation on that as soon as possible, but we'll get a confirmation. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Um, I want to show you guys this uh, comment here. Tony, this was Valerie. She has an OAC on order. She's sitting Hi, back Valerie. with her feet How up. Hi, Valerie. How are you? <laughs> you guys must know Valerie. Tuning in. Yeah, right? Uh, the big show with Tony. Um, and a question here on uh, – we're going to get into specs here in just a moment. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Just saw that one. Here we go. Door width. And then if you can just really help me with the, um, the the format here, this really helps me find your question. So uh, let's uh, oops, get everybody on here. Did Valerie have a question? Didn't uh, Not that I've seen. Just okay. she's kicking back. So here's Rebecca's got a question for the team. The first ones will be in spring. So how do we know when people further down on the reservations list will see theirs? Assuming you guys have some kind of communication plan as these things start course, uh, rolling in. Uh, yeah. we, we are expecting Wingham's production schedule uh, soon. As soon as we have that, we will be able to give everyone a, a estimate as to the delivery for their specific motorhome. That is beautiful. So I'm seeing questions on, on insulation, on warranty. So let's talk about specs quick because we do answer this for everybody. So let's talk about that. Um, I think this will get a lot of these questions answered. So uh, specifications, here we go. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. We have a giant group tonight. We have over 300 people in here. Give us, give Tony and um, he's on California time. Uh, Joel's on, I don't know, Mike was on. That place, right. Joel, Joel, where are you located? I'm actually in Vancouver, BC right now. Holy cow. Uh, that's a beautiful town. I can't wait to get back to Vancouver, BC. So uh, this is great. So specifications. So here's a little caveat. Um, everything we're talking about tonight is current information. Specifications are subject to change. Latest info at wingham.com. Uh, we don't want anybody getting kind of uh, all exercised about this, but we do want to share some of the most recent information. So um, I think what's compelling for most people are, are these things right here. It's seat four, sleep four, 17.9 feet long, this fiberglass shell. We're going to talk about this quite a bit here in just a minute. External storage in a rig of this size is highly unusual. You either have a B plus, which is this giant thing, which is, you know, inches and inches over the, the actual chassis, um, or it's a class C. And having external storage so unusual here, the pull down bed, we showed you that. Curated designs, wait until you see this. Um, if you haven't seen these pictures, but I want to have Tony and, and Joel just take a few minutes, kind of walk us through the ProMaster chassis. I've been seeing videos on YouTube with uh, RV dealers, Winnebago RV dealers showing the new chassis. So this has been a big deal. And, I'm, and the way it kind of works in our favor to get the latest chassis from, from ProMaster, from, from, from Ram. So maybe just kind of walk through these, these uh, pull, uh, bullet points here, gentlemen, for us. Sure. Yeah, um, it's really exciting. ProMaster uh, is a really great rig to to be on, and um, we're excited to to be using it. The, we are going to be using the gasoline engine in the U.S. model. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking about the Fiat Ducato. Um, that won't be available in the states. We are only using the ProMaster um, gasoline engine. It's a uh, front-wheel drive. Um, we're using the Ram 3500 van, and that's uh, that's equipped with a V6 Pentastar engine, um, and that's going to have all of your Ram service and warranties. Um, and Tony can talk about the warranty stuff in a bit. Yeah, uh, so I, I know a lot of people are wondering about the warranties. Um, the uh, Ram ProMaster is going to come with a one-year warranty. Um, uh, Wingham's warranty will be one year. The um, 
all of these sort of appliances will be a one-year warranty. And then the monocoque shell will have a 15-year warranty for water intrusion, except for uh, windows and skylights. Pretty impervious to the weather. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what do we want to talk about? And then 24 gallons of gasoline. Um, I've been running around my Winnebago Travada, which is a you know 3500 ProMaster 2018 chassis, 105,000 miles now, and she's been performing really admirably. So, um, it's pretty pretty amazing. I'm just really excited. So you said um, Ram warranty, Tony? Is that, is that three years, 36,000 miles, or is that different than the standard US vehicle? We were we were told it is a one year warranty. One year. Okay, yeah. fair enough. All right. But, so but let's talk about this. Good. Sorry, go ahead, Scott. Please, no, go ahead. I was just going to say it's important that all of your viewers know that uh, the Ram chassis uh, is, can be serviced at any uh, um, uh, authorized, you know, uh, Ram um, service center. That is that is great to know. Just make sure they can um, physically um, be capable of the size and weight of the vehicle. Uh, even us Travada owners have to deal with that. Anybody really in the van, they're just really loaded up big rigs. Um, okay, let's talk about this 540.1. I think this is going to be really interesting to a lot of folks. Um, and this is a, a very specific uh, situation. You kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, Tony. And what you've been doing as a team is taking feedback from customers, um, analyzing the feedback, and then implementing it uh, right down to some real cool specs here. So maybe just kind of walk us through this on waste tanks, solar, lithium, and inverter. Uh, what's what's the story on, on these uh, RV systems in the OAC? Sorry, Joel. Are you... Sorry, guys. Oh, Joel. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My Joel, you're up. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, um, you know, we have all of our regular uh, systems here, all of the tanks with the information there. Scott, fresh water, six, 26 gallons, the gray 18. The um, cassette is a five gallon tank there. Um, we will have one solar panel on the roof for 210 watts. Um, and the power system, we have an option for either an AGM power system that's got a lithium controller on top of it. It's brand new um, for Wingham, which we've been using in Europe. Um, and then it will come equipped with an inverter. The inverter we haven't spec'd out yet completely. Um, we will be getting that information from the manufacturer and uh, there is no generator on the way. And, and one, thing to add is, <laughs> one thing to add is the, um, the fresh water and gray water are both heated and protected. So for those of you who plan to be in cold climates, uh, don't worry. And I see a lot of questions on the R value and the thermal dynamics. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, a lot of you are, have asked about the lithium and that was, this is kind of a big deal. This wasn't initially what was talked about last year. So this is a dot one rev Big inclusion, and it's really saving the customer. Was it like over three thousand uh, dollars, Tony? Yeah. So um, actually, I'm going to let Joel talk about the uh, the lithium package. Yeah, it's really great. Um, it what it does is it it creates an environment where you're taking your AGM batteries and um, kind of almost uh, making them act like a lithium battery. There's a lithium controller on top of it. It extends the life of the batteries. Um, it charges them quicker. It uses the lithium controller battery uh, power first. Um, so it really is a great add on to the regular AGM batteries. And from what I've seen, it's a little bit different implementation than we're used to here in the States. But here's what I'd recommend you doing is um, this is the uh, manufacturer that Wingham is working with. They come out of um, Germany. They're designed and manufactured in Germany. BOS, Balance of Storage System. If you search YouTube, you're going to see this 90 second video on the system that's going in to the to the to the Wingham OAC, and it's 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 super compelling. And and help me understand, um, Joel, the uh, air conditioning system in the Wingham is a Dometic. It is 12 volt, and we know that 12 volt takes a very different approach to consumption with a lower voltage and wattage. Is that right? So you don't have to yeah, have this okay. giant thing because you don't need, you're not doing 110 volt. Yeah. It's right? a compact unit. Um, very power saving. You will, it's going to extend the length of your, your consumption, the battery. Um, 
you know, depending on how hot it is outside, you know, anywhere you go, yeah. um, you know, I get the question a lot, like how long does the, how long is it I can run the air conditioner? Um, depends on how hot it is outside um, and how light, how cold you like it inside. But, um, and Tony's gonna talk about this a little bit, the monocoque shell really extends um, the, the climate inside of the, the unit. Uh, the insulation keeps everything cool inside. By the way, I've got right here so everyone can see it. Right this, is, this is Wingham's insulation. Yeah, and you, what you're looking at there is um, two Wait, layers. Hold that up again, of Tony. Oh, absolutely. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Tells us. There we go. Yeah, you're looking at two layers of glass resin, and then um, there's an inch of polyurethane. That's a proprietary uh, insulation that Wingham has developed over the years. Um, and then there's an additional resin layer on top. So, you know, you, it's not one little layer of fiberglass, which a lot of rigs are are made out of these days. Um, and that's what really helps power consumption and the climate control within the vehicle. Yeah, the thermal dynamics is probably just off the charts on this vehicle because it's not a tin a steel van like I have that you put kind of insulation right. in. It's a very different and, approach. And if, so. I can, if I can springboard off of what Joel was just talking about, you know, and just like Joel fields these questions all the time, so, so do I. And it's actually one of my favorite questions because um, I love giving this answer, which is that no other motorhome manufacturer in the U.S. talks about, all they talk about is, is how long their batteries will last when they're running their, when a customer is running their air conditioning at night. And that's really the only gauge they have to go off of um, to base um, if they're going to be, you know, if the user is going to be comfortable um, owning the motorhome um, um, to either keep themselves, you know, at the right temperature or their pets. Um, uh, what Wingham does that no other manufacturer does is, again, we start with a monocoque shell. It's a custom fiberglass monocoque shell. So unlike steel, which is how, which is the shell of all other motorhomes in the U.S., um, fiberglass does not conduct heat. So it's not when the sun is baking on you, you know, you're not turning into an oven like you do sitting in all the other classy motorhomes that are um, made out of um, uh, Ford Transits, Ram Promaster, uh, Ram Promasters, and Mercedes Sprinters. So um, that's one big differentiator. Then also, uh, there are no seams. So when it's hot outside and you're running your air conditioning, your cold air doesn't seep out like it does with other class motor homes and vice versa. When it's, when it's um, cold out and you have your heat on, um, you're going to use a lot less power uh, to keep yourself comfortable. And then finally, as we just talked about the insulation system, which is far more advanced than you'll find in other, um, um, in, our, in, in our competitors. And so those three things combined mean that you're going to end up using a lot less power to keep yourself comfortable. Yeah, it's just a very different approach, and I'm so glad you guys um, helped with that. We've got a few more things to talk about that, but we want to address kind of the, the number one things folks wanted to get into, and we might go a few minutes over. Is that okay, Tony and, and Joel? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Stop the hour, but uh, you guys got some great questions. We want to get to all this. Uh, so let's talk about C, drive by, um, and I'm so excited you guys are coming to the Tampa show, but almost as cool is the whole approach to looking at and buying a right. Wingham. Tony, maybe just take a minute. Tell us what the heck we're looking at here. Right. Um, and then we're talking about where can I test drive one and what the price is. So what are we looking at here? So that is an image of our pop-up showroom at Santa Monica Place Shopping Center uh, in Santa Monica, California. Um, one of sort of philosophically, I think one of the reasons why uh, the manufacturer and the Wingham US team um, connected so powerfully was um, we wanted to provide a better experience for the customers. Uh, we saw the, the, the experience to purchase a motorhome as being anything but pleasant, right? So most of these motor, most of the, most of the um, dealers are located um, in inconvenient locations, far away from the cities, um, but far away from the, the city centers. Uh, when you go there and it's hot outside, uh, you're, you're baking in the sun on this big open lot and you're sort of bombarded by aggressive salespeople. Uh, we wanted to avoid all of that and uh, create an, really an amazing retail experience for the Wingham customers in the same way that you'll buy your Peloton bike or your iPhone or a Tesla. 
We're going to have Wingham's on display in high-end retail settings in major cities throughout the U.S. And you'll be able to see them there and test drive them. And so what you see uh, in this image is, is, is it was our first showroom, which was a pop-up showroom in San Juan. It's so amazing. I'm just so impressed. You know, if you've been to a Tesla store or an Apple store, it's it's very different than any other retail. And that's so different from an RV um, uh, lot, right? Um, so let's talk about test drive. So if if you want to get your hands on one of these, what's kind of the, the current plan uh, to test drive them once they're kind of uh, available? We're going to have them in the retail setting for customers to see and test drive. Simple as that, right? Um, let's talk about buying. What is the reservation, deposit, finance, and delivery situation? So, again, we're doing things a little bit differently. So the Wingdoms will be on display uh, at our showrooms. If you decide that you want to purchase one, uh, the deposit, and uh, we'll go through one of our dealer partners, which we are in the, in the process of, of sort of, you know, I guess, finalizing. Um uh, that's where you'll actually do the paperwork. That's where you will uh, do your financing, get your warranty, uh, get your insurance. And then the key is, is that it will be at our dealer uh, partners uh, where you'll get your orientation. And then what we were going to ask all our customers to do is take them, take the Wingham OAC 540 for 24 hours, use it close to our dealer partner. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have many questions when you actually leave the lot as, and uh, then you'll come back the next day and that same uh, um, person who gave you your orientation will be there to then answer all of your questions. And help us with the price. Um, that was the number one request from everybody. So um, sure. I think it was, what's the what's, uh, uh, situation of pricing currently? Sure. So a base price, I, 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 base is a little misleading because I feel like uh, the 540s are going to come, I call it sort of mostly loaded and I'll get to that in a second. But it is one hundred and forty-five thousand. Um, that does not obviously include tax, license, registration, or shipping from Italy to the U.S. And when I say mostly loaded, uh, all Wingham OAC five forties are coming with a solar panel on the roof. They're coming with air conditioning. They're coming with radiant heat in the floor, leather. The only options that are not included uh, that don't come standard are going to be a bike rack, a tow hitch, a TV, upgrade to lithium-ion batteries. Um, is that it? Oh, and a microwave. Oh, important microwave. That is great. Um, so if somebody wants to get in line, there's a reservation fee. Is that right? And then once they, your rig is coming up, there's more money on the table. Is that how that works? That's right. That's right. So um, the, it's, a, it's a fully refundable, 100% fully refundable $1,000 reservation fee. And that's really just to get in the queue to get either a Wingham OAC 540. We're also taking reservations for the 610 and the 690. Um, it's, you can cancel at any time. And the idea is, is that we know we do not have the U.S. models here yet, but that um, people want to sort of, you know, they all want them, a lot of people want them now. And so the idea is get in line. And then um, when we have them here to see, if you decide when you see it that you don't want to move forward, you can get your $1,000 back. But if you see it and you do love it, you'll be very happy that you made your reservation now because there is a bit of a wait. So if we take a reservation today, the estimated delivery time uh, will be December of 2023. So we're about a year out. Which is sort of, you know, for a custom, you know, uh, situation, it's that's we're used to that in the van space, put it that way. You know, waiting six to 12 months has not been unusual. Um, so I put together, I took liberty of putting together some um, pricing because we've had some uh, folks say, wow, that's a lot of money for a, for a small RV. And I'm like, compared to what? So, you know, I'm going to poke fun at our friends at Winnebago a little bit. So these are prices from um, Lazy Days website in Florida. So a, a 2023 50, Travado 59G, no lithium, MSRP 186 grand. Uh, it's on sale for 158270 I would argue... OAC 540 give me a little bit more. Oh, yeah, uh, Solus. Solus 23 uh, 2023 Solus PX MSRP 150 grand 127 sale price. Revel, are you guys ready for this ladies and gentlemen? The 2023 Revel MSRP $217,000. That's kind of the off off road van. Uh, sale price 160. Uh, 2023 Integra launch. This is kind of a Revel-ish um, I'm sorry, that's, that's not revelish. It is. And 19Y, 232,000 MSRP on sale for $175,000. And if you look at the 2023 Thor Rise, I think it's 18A is the floor plan. It's kind of different. 
MSRP 134, really 135 on sale for 115 grand. So if you start looking at comparative prices and what you get for your money, that this looks like a pretty good value to me. Um, I just like to point it out because it's kind of hard for people to get their head around some of these numbers. But uh, these probably what I like to describe it, Scott, is yeah, you know, is you shouldn't look at it based on size because a Honda Accord and a Porsche are the same size. It's 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 what it's made of and and what goes into making a Porsche that makes it the price it is versus the Honda Accord. And so it's the same thing with women. Um, we're roughly the same size. I mean, I know we're shorter, but but we're roughly the same size, meaning um, as far as materials, um, as all those all those motorhomes you just mentioned. But when you come and see our product, and I'm I'm confident um, that when you come and actually kick the tires, literally, and you know touch the leather, touch the cabinets, when you notice that everything is rounded, uh, like the experience when when you're inside of a yacht, as opposed to you know um, all the kitchen cabinets when you go into a like the motorhome you're in right now, everything's at a hard edge. So it's all those details um, that cost um, you know more money uh, and more time to make. However, like you just said, I don't think it's really reflected in the price. We are still competitively priced compared to the competitors. All right, thank you for that. So let's answer a few questions, and then we want to try and do the configure configurator quick because if you haven't been there, um, you guys are updating that soon. But this is where you can kind of look at the options and, and updates uh, to those options you talked about. So I'm going to kind of skip around because we've, I think, addressed a number of these questions already. Um, this one, Bev wants to know, um, let's go back here. Whoops. Uh, here we go. Uh, Bev wants to know, how do we find out where we are on the delivery list if we know we were very early uh, reserving? Yeah, great, great question. Thank you. And by the way, hi, Bev. Thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, uh, like I said, Wingham is going to be giving us a production schedule uh, with the timing of all that. We just don't have that at this time. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Whoops, I'm sorry. Let's go here. Um, we talked about this, but let's just kind of put an exclamation point on it. Uh, so Dave wants to know four season capability. It's insulated. It's everything's inside. And, he, and so what's the story on this? Yeah, it's uh, fully insulated. Um, and as Tony was saying before, you're going to be warm in the in the winter and cool in the summer um, with the insulation. Um, we've There's a funny picture that we always kind of reference. You see it, um, a lineup of um, RVs at a park in a snowstorm. And you can see uh, the other RVs that are not a Wingham. They all, all the snow is melted off of them. Um, where the Wingham has a foot of snow still on the top. <laughs> um, and that, you know, that's a testament to the monocoque shell and the insulation that that's uh, that's on that vehicle. Yeah, it's it's so true. It's so funny. Um, I'm big on RV insulation. Let's see. Rebecca's got a question here. Is it planned to be at other sh uh, shows for people who cannot make it to Tampa, or maybe help us with the um, kind of the pop up stores? Um, Tony, what's, what are some of the plans yeah. there? Um, we 100 percent are going to be hitting other shows in 2023. Um, I would expect that to be announced um, after the Tampa show, uh, what shows we'll be at. And um, we will have our pop-up showrooms opening up in 2023 as well. Awesome. Justin wants to know, maybe this is for Joel, is there any way to add more solar to the roof other than the 210 watt? Yeah, that is a good question. I get that one a lot as well. Um, because it's a compact vehicle and you've got a lot of things going on already on the roof, um, including the AC unit and the big skylight, there isn't a lot more and a lot of room left to put another solar unit up there. So for right now, it's just the one. Unit. And that's always a limiting factor on a van is there's just no acreage on the roof. And yeah. what I think is going to make this different is the insulation. The thermal dynamics is a, it's a total game changer. Um, let's see. This is a good one for you, Joel. Um, what are the dimensions of the bed? Let me get that exactly. <laughs> Please, it holds over, over 700 pounds, I think you said, right? Yeah, it's, it's uh, yep, 771 pound um, weight limit on the bed. Um, it's a it's a full size bed. Um, and let me just grab the exact dimensions. Um, 71.5 by 53 inches. So hope that helps you. It a Noli Tang Fish has a question here. Ceiling height with the bed up? 
ceiling height with the bed up, it's six one under the bed. And then in the back um, is six four. Um, well, you guys are kind of focused on the you uh, getting them over here first, but Shikar wants to know, uh, is William selling direct to the consumer in Italy? Well, certainly they are there, right? But it wouldn't be a U.S. model. Is that a fair? Uh, no, um, everything is through dealers in Europe. Dealers, okay. Yeah, and 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 just to just to clarify, it's we are we have dealer partners here in the U.S. as well. We're just doing our display differently than everyone else is doing. Which is great. It's just it's so cool. Um, let's see. Karen wants to know: Is there a plan to bring the five forty to Canada? That's that's one of the most frequently asked questions. Um, the answer is yes, but right now Wingham is focused on its U.S. rollout. Yeah, and it's got to be a heavy lift. I just I admire what you guys are doing and just getting a website updated, producing a show once a week. It's a lot of work, uh, and all the. I just I can't imagine what you guys are going through. Um, let's see, gas generator or propane? So there is no generator at all. Um, it's important so to pie pies. Sorry, yep. uh, there there is room, and this is something you touched on earlier. Oh in the show. yeah, yes, uh, good point. Uh, there, this is something you touched on earlier in the show, which is uh, that the Wingham OAC five hundred and forty does have the rear storage locker, um, which you could fit a portable uh, generator in. And we don't know of any other uh, motorhome in this size that does have rear storage or extra storage like we do on the, on the exterior. Um, so if you do want to get a portable generator, there is room for one, a small one. Yeah, so, so cool. Um, so some, yep, yeah, folks have a lot of great questions. Um, so we're going to go over a little bit tonight. Um, it's normally we cut this off in an hour, but uh, you, get, you just got so many great questions. And there's a few more things we want to show you. Uh, we might pass on the configurator uh, unless you guys really want to see it. Let me know. But I just um, want to show you some of the examples of what they've been working on to, to uh, implement your feedback. So let's just take a few more. Pi Pi's got a question here. Where's my cursor? Right here. Pi Pi ordered an OAC 540 last year. Is this the same thing as the 541? So uh, I guess the best way to put it, Pi Pi, great name, is um, it nothing or everything that you liked about the 540 is in the 540.1. The 540.1 really represents customer feedback and all the things that all of you have been asking for are now implemented, plus some really um, stylish uh, um, upgrades as well with uh, a backsplash behind the kitchen counter that we'll be talking more about and, 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 and designer lighting yeah. on the inside as well. Yeah, wait till you see it. It's going to blow you away. I, I'm so excited. Um, let's see. Paul K has a question here. Will Wingham be available to rent or just buy? Uh, right now, we're all just... focused on on sales. So maybe, Paul, what you can do is buy a fleet of 540s and the brown out <laughs> through Outdoorsy. There you go. Let's get in the business of, uh, let's see. Uh, let's, go, let's see. <laughs> Valerie, um, Scott, will you, who will you be having as your guest on your OAC overnight pick me? Um, I appreciate, I, be just me, because that's, um, it's going to be a busy, crazy night. I will get no sleep, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Um, Kim's got a good question here. And we're going to also recommend to you check out some of the videos that us YouTubers did from January. It shows this in action. But Kim wants to know, how do you get into the drop down bed? Is there a ladder or, well, there's an elevator actually, right? It comes up out of the floor. <laughs> That's going to be the 540.2. <laughs> I know, right? Hydraulic lift to get your butt into bed. Uh, no, it's how does it actually happen? <laughs> so, and there's a lot of video of this too. You'll see the bed is really, it, it's a patented drop down bed system. The hydraulics are patented and it makes it very easy to pull the bed down. And then, yes, there is sort of a little ladder that you attach to the end or edge of the bed so it's secure for you to, for you to, to walk up. It's like, I think it's three steps, maybe four steps. Yeah. And that ladder is on. way on top of the bed uh, when you're not using it. Yeah. yeah uh, that, that's a good point. Um, when you're not using it, you can actually put the ladder on top of the bed and then you can close the bed um, uh, and it locks into place with the ladder on top of it. Yeah. It's really smooth and it's not a super steep angle. It's kind of this uh, really pleasant angle. Um, most, and if you have a challenge kind of getting up there, maybe you sleep downstairs, you park the kids upstairs like a pop top. And they can hang out all night, play Monopoly or whatever they do. And, um, and you know, some people do. 
um, is that you can actually step on the dining room seat and then it's just really sort of like a, like an easy sort of leap onto the, onto the uh, bed. A yoga move, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Judy's got a question here on service. Judy wants to know where can owners get service in Midwest regions? So we talked about the Ram ProMaster, any Ram dealer, right. but on the Wingham itself, that's a good question. Right. So th there's three aspects to service. Uh, like you just mentioned, there's the Ram, Pro the Ram ProMaster chassis. Um, then there is um, the appliances. So all of our appliances are either going to be Dometic or Lippert, which as everyone knows are, are sort of global companies. Uh, just like when you buy your kitchen package from General Electric, um, you will contact um, Lippert or Dometic. They'll tell you where to go um, to have it serviced. Uh, and then the final part, which is the Wingham uh, warranty. So our dealer partners are going to offer service. And then we are also establishing a network of brick and mortar um, authorized Wingham service centers. Those are going to be throughout the country. And by the way, we're very enthusiastic about, about those partners. And I can talk in, in a minute about why. And then finally, we are partnering with um, the largest um, um, national uh, mobile RV repair company. And so uh, they'll all be um, authorized and trained on the wing of product. So if you're on the road and something breaks, you can contact them. And one thing I do want to mention that we're very excited about is uh, we are going to be holding in stock as the distributor. Um, almost all of the components of the Wingham motorhome uh, that could potentially break and so, or, or um, stop working or come loose or whatnot. And so if something were to break and you're on the road, uh, we will have it in stock. We will be able to overnight it to the mobile repair tech, and then they'll be able to repair it uh, hopefully within 24 or 48 hours. So, uh, you won't, um, you know, uh, lose much time uh, on your vacation. And that's just a, such a great point. Um, thank you for bringing that up. I think um, I've been using the, the mobile uh, RV technicians. Uh, the few times I've used them, they've been really great because they come out same or next day. They usually have the part unless it's something really freaky, like they fix my fan. Um, you guys probably saw that uh, What's Up Wednesday show. Um, and I think there's a real element here of customer service of having a trained product savvy mobile uh, technician force to come to you versus make an appointment two, three, four, five weeks away and you can't travel if something's 100%. really catastrophic, right? So it's really a, it's really a smart move. Uh, we're going to get to the um, implementations of the dot one revs, but I want to acknowledge uh, Mesa Mike here. Uh, thank you for the jingle in the jar, Mesa Mike. Um, that's half of a bottle of uh, Eli Craig, uh, Elijah Craig uh, whiskey. So thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, his thank question you, is, is, can I jump in? I know there's, we're going to get to all these questions, but I see, I've noticed a, a bunch of questions and I just want to uh, make sure that I can answer them. Um, yes, all of the U.S. reservation holders will be getting the Wingham OAC 540.1 on a 2023 Ram ProMaster chassis. And I've also seen people asking where they can make a reservation. Uh, email us at us at wingham.com. That's us at wingham.com. That's a very important uh, plug there. I don't want to miss that one. And uh, we will send you the reservation instructions and the payment information. Excellent. And again, Mason, Mike, uh, thank you for the um, super chat. Uh, is the Wingham Fiat chassis going to be available in North America? My regular vehicle is a Fiat. Love it. It's going to be the Ram ProMaster. So it's a vehicle destined yeah. for the US market. It's not a Fiat, right? Yeah, it is. And the good thing, though, is that uh, our friends at Ram have taken a lot of good cues from the, the Fiat Ducato. I mean, it's basically the same company, but the European stylings of that vehicle um, are making their way into the ProMaster, and that ProMaster is getting better and better. Um, each year, so um, yeah, you'll hardly tell the difference. So. Yeah, and by the way, it was you know when when we were displaying the European um, 540 built on the Ducato chassis, uh, one of the things that everyone talked about was that the 2022 Ram Promaster chassis that the grille didn't have that same handsome look that the grille on the Fiat Ducato chassis had. And so we were like beyond thrilled when we saw pictures of the 2023 Ram Pro Master chassis and the front grille is pretty much the same now as the Ducato uh, front. So it's got that really handsome look. Yeah, it's uh, the timing is really sublime here for everything. Um, so Sandy's got a question that we're going to 
change gears a little bit. So does it have AC? Yes, it does. It has a, a unit on the... On... Sorry, Joel, you cut out there. What was that? Yeah, it's got a, un a Dometic unit AC on the roof. And that's also heating and cooling. That, that so it's a heat pump unit. and cooling, yeah. 12 volts. Uh, a lot of these specs are on the Wingham website, so yeah. go ahead. And, in and the heat that, is also provided through through our radiant heat system in the floor. Yes. So you have heat in the, really, in the pneumatic system in the roof or in the ceiling, then radiant heat in the floor, and then air conditioning in the ceiling. And that's a true so, Coney system that's, that's heating the floor. Perfect. All right, let's show some examples, because uh, I think this is just so impressive that they took feedback from customers. They didn't really have a really a rig yet. Uh, they we analyzed the uh, feedback and they implemented it, which is so important. So let's we got some really concrete examples here for you. Um, Tony, Joel, tell us about this. This is pretty important. I, I would say that this was probably numero uno on customer feedback. Um, was getting in and out of the cabin and uh, everyone felt like the steps should go a little bit lower to the floor and should be a little bit wider to accommodate, um, you know, their foot. And that's exactly what Wingham did. So this new step, when you push the button and it comes out and comes down, um, it will be closer to the floor. So it's easier to get in and out of, and the step is actually deeper. So awesome. How about this? Um, Maybe I shouldn't have said the step was number one. I, I feel like these are tough. <laughs> it, it, getting in and out is very important. And so a lot of customers uh, said there really should be a handle um, to help give us balance uh, and give us leverage to get in, in and out of the motorhome. And so voila, uh, there's the handle. And I was looking at one of the um, clips you sent me that we're not going to share here, but if you haven't signed up for um, or, or following Wingham on, on Instagram, they got a lot of content on there. A lot of these pictures, they got more coming, incl including one about this grab handle. This is not a cheapo aluminum handle, right? This is pretty serious metal stainless. That's I think correct. she said, right? That's right. I mean, this is just, again, the attention to detail. we got a couple more examples for you. Um, Let's talk about this guy. We talked about this already. Um, again, a little different approach. It's not Volta. It's not Master Volt uh, specific. It's 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 very different. Um, I'd recommend to go to the uh, YouTube uh, channel I, re I recommended earlier to learn about this. But the fact that it's here and it's included, there's some things around that. It's it's pretty important. So this is a big deal from last year, right? Or from earlier yeah, this year. Yeah, it's pretty, and it it turns the regular batteries into smart batteries essentially, and it's um new technology and we're really excited to have it in in the in the oez and it's including the price now which was an extra before which is great i love this example if you've ever seen an rv with the door not in the right position what's what we're we looking at here that's right so this again was listening to the customers um the door used to open up which was you know made it a little bit more difficult to then reach in and grab the cassette and pull it out now the door opens to the side which is pretty amazing. I just love that. Um, Tony's excited about this. What are we looking at here? I, I am excited <laughs> about this. And, and this, you know, this really ties into Wingham's DNA, which is just, they are so focused on design. And so a lot of our customers have expressed that they love the, the Wingham OAC Black Edition, which was that the decal, the black decal that you saw on the outside. That's still going to be offered. The Black Edition is still going to be offered. Now Wingham is also offering the fashion edition, which is this uh, new decal. And I, I, you know, I'm curious to hear what all of your viewers think. Uh, I've seen it in person. Uh, I really think it adds a lot of style to the exterior. It's, it's just so cool because you have to kind of almost zoom in to really see it, it's, it's a pattern, but it's been done in such a way. It looks like a shadow almost. That's right. And, and in and, motion. And I know we're going to talk about this, but what was so important to Wingham is, is they've created um, not just upgrades to the, which, which represent the OAC 540.1 interior cosmetic upgrades, but they've done these three um, curated uh, interior designs, which are also going to be offered. And so what they wanted was that uh, just like when you build a beautiful home, right? You want your landscaping and you want the front to look as good as the inside. And so, uh, they wanted to offer an all white, the black edition, now this fashion edition, which, you know, based on the, if you do want to go with one of the upgraded curated interior designs, the outside and the inside will sort of uh, 
will, will from a design um, standpoint, flow seamlessly. And we'll share that here in just a moment. I have one more picture. This is going to blow you away. I couldn't believe it. Thank you for this. May be the first time it's shown in public. I'm not sure. Um, look at this interior yeah. design. Let me just zoom in here. Tell us what we're looking at. Wingham team. This is so yeah. beautiful. And, and let me point this out. Um, so this was this was actually uh, their prototype uh, backsplash that they made. It's my understanding that it's going to be more of a gray, um, not the yellow hue that you see. Um, and so this is a backsplash that goes over the kitchen. Um, what is great is there's there's storage for like your spices. But you know I, I'm a I'm a design person. So what I love is the backlight. Right? I mean that's what adds all of the experience and the romance, you know? So it's not just grabbing your spice out of the storage or something else that you have stored, but it's it's gonna be looking good while you do it, right? Can somebody please tell me where you've ever seen this in an RV before? In 17.9 feet. You know, if you're buying a 750 grand Newmar, you probably get something like this, but please. Thank you, Scott. You and one thing, no horses. <laughs> one pull thing that thing around. to add is they actually brought in a lighting designer and they're gonna be doing trace lighting um, all throughout the motorhome. So if you can imagine around the doorway, um, underneath at the base of the kitchen cabinet, um, you know, this is much like the, the design, yeah, I'm sorry, much like the lighting design that you see inside of yachts. But now it's going to be just, inside of the motorhome. Yeah, it's just stunning. Let's answer a few more questions. I don't want to get into this W factor. It really makes, Tony's kind of alluded to this, what uh, some of the secret sauces, you've seen it here. Um, and we wanted to go just a little bit deeper because it's really, it's really important. So let's just um, take a few more questions. And here's Shirley. Thank you very much for your super chat. Appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you. Just glad to, glad to have you here. Um, so we talked about the batteries a bit. Uh, looking for the questions. Hang tight. Um, yeah, Tony's answered about the uh, reservation list. So, um, oh, for the twin bed model. So he wants to know. So in general, Tony, the, the reservation list process is? In um, uh, you, email us at us at wingham.com. Uh, tell us you want to make a reservation. Specify if it's the 540, the 610, or the 690. So we are taking reservations for all three models. And then we will email you back uh, a link to the actual reservation form, which just to um, emphasize or echo what I, what I said earlier, which is, is a fully refundable $1,000 reservation fee. So you can get your thousand dollars back at any time. And then there's uh, in that as well, a link uh, to pay with credit card. Perfect. Tang's got a question. What about trade-in? Probably revolves around the dealer. That's right. That's right. So we're going to have dealer partners. And if you have a trade-in that can be done through them. So Gary's got a question here on uh, all-wheel drive. So does Liz V, it's yeah. a ProMaster, so there's really no options, right? It's front-wheel yeah. drive and front-wheel exactly. drive. And, you know, when when Ram makes that available, um, we certainly will look into that. Um, of but course. Until, yeah. until then, we're where we are. And, and Scott, if I, if I can just embellish on this for a brief moment, you know, sure. um, just for all of your viewers, there is – off-roading, right, which you certainly need a four-wheel drive for, but then there's just sort of going off of the road. And I want to emphasize that you can take this off of the road and it will perform successfully. And if you go on uh, our Instagram or uh, Wingham Corporate's Instagram, um, you can see a lot of photos of uh, the different Wingham models in sand, um, you know, uh, by by rivers, you know, so they're obviously going over sort of a dirt and rock um dirt and rock to get there. Um, so you can take it off the road. It's just not an off-road vehicle. Well said, sir. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, a couple more questions that we want to get to. We're going to go for like like 10 more minutes. Um, this is our longest What's Up Wednesday ever, episode 101, and it couldn't happen with a better crew. Thank uh, you. We still have a ton of people in here. Uh, thanks for sticking thanks around. Thanks, guys. Thank question. you guys for staying in and asking your questions. I know. This we is really, I'm really so excited. It. Thank you. Um, and you get, and Tony and, and Joel, you guys are doing a great job. Um, it's, it's, so let's, uh, so some of these are kind of, so Catman Dude wants to know, will financing be offered through your dealer network? Yes. Fantastic. Um, and what Liz, she's clarifying here. What do you, what I meant, do you have any plans to put on other chassis that have four by four or our wheel drive? No, we don't. Fair enough. 
Um, this is a good question, maybe for you, uh, Joel. Dennis wants to know what is the minimum ground clearance? What's the lowest part of the rig that is most at risk of ground contact? We talk about yes. that here a lot. So yes. can you help us so with the, that? The lowest part, and, and that's, you're going to find it's between the axle, it's seven and a half inches. So there's a good amount of, of space. And that would that is- come up quite a lot and uh, you know everybody's pretty happy with that ground clearance it's actually pretty good we've we've talked about that a lot on this show i've, I've raised my van three inches because i was worried about the ground clearance uh, the typical travado has about six and a half seven ish so this is actually at or above it sounds like it's a little above so that's yeah. pretty amazing uh good job um we talked about canada I'm trying to get us done first uh this is confidential information, Brenda. We cannot share this with you. How many units will Wingham make in 2000? Probably not enough. It's like Apple products out of the gate. You know, you're going to have to wait a little bit. <laughs> Any yeah. thoughts on that? Uh, Unfortunately, we're the distributor. We're not at liberty to discuss uh, these types yeah. of things. So uh, Steve wants to know, maybe just um, some few folks are coming in late. So Tony, maybe just help Steve. How do you make the deposit again? Sure. Um, uh, go, uh, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Email us at uh, us like for United States, U.S. at Wingham, W-I-N-G-A-M-M dot com. And uh, we will send you a link uh, to the reservation form and uh, to payment instructions is $1,000. It's fully refundable. Um, so uh, you'll have plenty of time to see the motorhome in person and decide if it's something you want to move forward with uh, before you'd have to commit, uh, which would be when we would actually take a deposit. So this is just a reservation fee. Fantastic. Um... Thank you for that. Brenda's got a question here, maybe Joel, for you. Um, is there an alternator to charge the battery? I think what she's talking about here is, you know, an alternator on the engine. Is, is, tell us about that. She's sure. Yeah, answer. there is an alternator on the engine that will charge the battery, of course. Um, there isn't a second alternator. That is a question that we get quite a lot. Um, it's just the one alternator for the vehicle that will charge the, the house batteries. And we've asked Pi Pi's the same question a few times. Uh, let's see, or already, I should say. Uh, we've talked about that. Um, all right, so let me share. I'll, I'll go through while you guys are going through some of this and, 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 and pull out some questions, but I want to talk about this. I think this is super important. I know Joel's and, and Tony, are, and Mike for that matter, and I am too, super passionate about this. It's kind of the, the difference. I mean, we could talk about you know, batteries and tanks and ground clearance. And it's, it's all very important, but there's a secret sauce to wing them. And I just want to give the guys a, a chance to talk about this. So, Tony, this is your chance, Joel. <laughs> I, re- I realize I, I realize I spoke about this too soon. Mm-hmm. Um, That's so okay. I, but, I, but I'll talk so about it again. Just showing up. I, 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 I can never talk about this too much. Um, so you talk about the Wingham difference. When you look at all of the Class B motorhomes made in America, they are built inside of existing cargo vans, Grand Promasters, Mercedes Sprinters. And um, so – all these manufacturers are limited to the space that they have in that existing cargo van. So what Wingham does that is so different is they take a chassis cab, not a cargo van, and they attach this custom fiberglass monocoque shell to the back of the chassis cab. So this innovation uh, is really what is the game changer for Wingham. So when you're talking first about climate control, um, like we mentioned, the uh, monocoque shell is made out of fiberglass, Fiberglass does not conduct heat like steel does. So in all of the existing cargo vans, I'm sorry, in all the existing cargo vans made by all the uh, legacy uh, manufacturers, when it's hot out, that turns the inside of your motorhome into like an oven, uh, the inside of your motorhome into like an oven. But since fiberglass does not conduct heat, you won't have that same problem with a Wingham. Um, then also, there are no seams, right? So this is essentially like the same way that boats are made. So this is like a boat hole but it's like flipped, um, you know, I guess upside down or right side up, however you want to look at it. So there's no seams. And so when you have your air conditioning on, it's not going to seep out like in all the other motorhomes made in the U.S. that do have seams and vice versa when it's cold outside and you have a heat on. And then lastly, as Joel touched on, our insulation system is far thicker, far more advanced. And so um, it's going to do a much better job than the competitors at um, keeping uh, the cold air in when it's hot outside and, and, and vice versa. And then just, just one more thing to add to this is as all you guys are listening at home, and I'm sure many of you guys are very familiar with the product. Some of you are, re- are already reservation holders. Uh, 
you're familiar with the idea that because of this custom fiberglass monocoque shell, uh, that innovation allowed Wingham to put their patented drop-down bed in the ceiling. And so by putting the bed in the ceiling and not having it use up your floor plan space, that allowed Wiggum to, to create a, a much larger kitchen, a much larger dining room, like we said, it seats five, and a much larger bathroom than you would in, in motor homes that are even you know, exponentially larger than our 17 foot, nine inch uh, footprint. Yeah, it's just, until you get into one of these, um, it's really hard to convey how different it is and how cool it is and how overdue it is in the US market. Um, we've talked about this a little bit, so I don't think we need to talk further, but again, the thermal dynamics is very different in this vehicle than other ones. What I want to talk about, we've got some questions in here, Joel, maybe you can help us with this, is on heating. So uh, maybe explain a little a bit about what radiant floor heating is is how it's happening and then what it's, what's this powered by yeah so um the radiant floor heating is powered by the true macomi um unit it's blowing hot air through a grid system in the floor which um which is lovely on a cold day you can you know you got your feet nice and toasty um that that really does heat up the whole unit wonderfully now, and as we said before, we also have the AC unit on the roof that, that also produces heat. Um, but a lot of times you don't even need that because this, this radiant floor heating system uh, uh, works so well throughout the entire RV. Um, and it, it's, a, it's, it's a great to feel that nice warm on, on the bottom of your feet as you're walking around your, your right there. Yeah, I can only imagine. Um, oh, uh, maybe, maybe it'll be as cool this year in Tampa as it was last year in Tampa. <laughs> it was cool and last you can start, year. Maybe that radiant heat, Scott. <laughs> I can't and, wait. And in addition, there's a couple of ducts that go into the bathroom that are also heating. Um, uh, so it's plenty of heat throughout the, the whole vehicle. And I think it's kind of important to point out, we talked about this earlier, but this is not a beta model that Wingham's rolling out. I mean, it's kind of specialized for the U.S. market, but they've been doing this for decades. This is not anything new to them. It's new to us. So this isn't, uh, let's hope this works. They've been doing this for a long time, and they're applying that expertise to the U.S. market. I'm so excited. Um, can, I, can I, I see one question in here. Um, can yeah. I address it? Because I think it will, um, there's probably a, a lot of other listeners who are wondering the same thing. I see it from Sandy, by the way. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for tuning in. Um, the Wingham Oasis, uh, the Wingham Oasis 540.1 is identical in length, height, width to the 540. Um, the only differences are what we just talked about with Scott, from the um, handlebar uh, to the upgraded uh, lighting, uh, those types of things. Thanks for that. That's uh, super important. Yeah, we still got a lot of questions. Um, I want to be fair to everybody as much as I can. So let's. There's a couple in here about freight. Uh, let's do a Vita real quick. So it's a cassette toilet. That's 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 accurate. Yes. Um, so let's talk about freight. There's a number of questions on this. Uh, Pi Pi again. So how much is the freight cost from Italy? Unfortunately, um, we can't quote that until we are much closer um, to delivery. And the reason is, is that as we all know, the last few years um, between supply chain issues and fuel costs, the pandemic. Um, the cost of shipping has been like on a roller coaster. And so it's just too difficult to say even, you know, in the spring, what it's going to cost to ship something from Italy to the U.S. I can tell you that before the pandemic, it was like 2,500 to 3,000. I think at the height of the pandemic, it went up to 10,000. I know it's less than that now. We just don't know where it's going to be um, in the spring. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of a moving target for this stuff, although it's getting much better, uh, which is great. A um, couple more things we want to show you. I think this is just super important. Tony's alluded to one of these, but this is, again, attention to detail. Let me show this to you, ladies and gentlemen. And have you ever seen a hinge so beautiful? I mean, they use a special alloy. They're kind of buried into the cupboards, right? And again, if you kind of compare this to the American manufacturers, it's stunning. The attention to detail, I, I'm odd by. So let's talk about fashion. You guys want to talk, and ladies want to talk about fashion? 
So there's three collections beyond the standard one color, I will say. Is that the right way? So yeah. maybe, Tony, help us what we're looking sure, at sure. here. So what, what all of... Um, what all of the reviewers and our reservation holders and customers um, have seen when they've either visited our showrooms on the East Coast or the West Coast, or they've been to the Tampa show, um, is what's called the Calle Luna. Uh, that is Wingham's standard interior. So that's the almond colored leather that you see, which comes with two different cabinet options, either all white, like you see here, or a wood grain. So the Calle Luna is still offered. That is standard. Uh, nothing has changed. Um, you can add to that, if you'd like, the exterior decals with the black edition or the fashion edition. But what Wingham has done that we think is really special is they teamed up with uh, interior designer Christina Romanello, uh, who is in Italy, to come up with three interior upgrade designs. And their inspiration was, they, they thought, you know, when you look at a, at a beautifully built home, um, there's a lot more to it when it comes to interior design than just throwing in a, a, a table and throwing in, you know, seating. Um, it's curated, right? Your sofa blends in and matches with your, with your uh, kitchen and your kitchen ties into your bathroom. And so they wanted to bring that spirit of interior design to the inside of a motorhome. So what they did is they came up with three interior uh, design upgrades. There's the Metropoly, which is what you're looking at right now, which is a sort of monochromatic look. Uh, where it's going to come with the uh, curtains that you see, the bedding. Um, it's also going to come with plates, silverware, glasses. So it's like you're basically buying a ready-to-wear. There you go. That's the Metropoly um, uh, mood board. Uh, um, and that's that's one of the three options. So the other two are the Dolomiti and the Costiere. Uh, that is the Dolomiti. That's sort of inspired by nature. Um, it's got a lot of sort of more warm tones like greens and browns. And then finally is the Costiere, which I think is stunning inside. It is sort of this very uh, rich, I actually equate it to like you see in so many homes now, marble is used everywhere. They wanted to bring the spirit of that to the inside of the motor home. And I think it's extremely tastefully done. Uh, well, I'm curious what your, what your viewers and our customers think, um, but I love it. Uh, and, and that's the Costier. And so if you kind of imagine the fashion edition decal on the exterior, that really blends nicely with this Costier, the Dolomiti, or the Metropoli, or the black edition. I think the black edition decal looks beautiful with the Metropoli, which again is the monochromatic black and white interior design. I can tell Tony's been working on his Italiano. Good job, sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll give uh, it a review at the very end of this. Yeah. I know. We will do that for sure. Um, and some of these pictures are being shown for the first time. So, uh, again, just thanks for the team for helping us uh, really put an exclamation point on why this is so cool, why we're so excited. Let's take a few more questions. Um, wow, we're really over time. I really appreciate you standing by. Um, and and I can also yeah. add stuff. Please, anyone, feel free. If, if you're not getting your question answered, email us. We'll get back to you right away with the answer. And that's kind of a good segue. Let me just show this quick. Um, I think it's the next thing anyway. Uh, hang tight. Um, Tony, as you scan or Joel, you scan those uh, chat questions. Is there anything sticking out that you definitely want to address? Um, I'll put this on the uh, screen. Oops, sorry, right here. Uh, so again, wingham.com is kind of the source. Uh, get the email updates, follow them on social. There's info form. Um, I signed up for that. They, they keep sending new information. You can actually get the brochure. Um, the configurator is going to be updated. I see a uh, question so. from Ronaldo. He's saying that the dash, the dash is very poor. Are you, is he referring to the, if you want to ask, is he referring to the, or you can reply, Ronaldo? Are you talking about the dashboard of the RAM or what dash are you talking about? Because uh, if you look at the 2023 RAM ProMaster chassis, it's actually um, quite, I would say, in line with all the technology that you would expect from any um, 2023, you know, car period. And maybe, Joel, you want to embellish a little bit on what's included. Yeah, definitely. There's a, a huge upgrade um, from the pictures that you're seeing here, which are um, right. from a, a Fiat Ducato from probably last year, two years ago. Um, so uh, the, the new 2023 Ram um, electronics cluster, all of that has been upgraded. There's uh, 
10 inch display. Um, there's USB ports in the dash. Um, so take a look at if, if you want to see the new what the new dash would be. Take a look at the Ram ProMaster um, website, and you can see ramtrucks.com and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. Um, let's see a couple more here, and see. Romy's got a good question here. Um, will you offer an extended warranty? You know what? That is something I'm going to have to get back to you about. Uh, we are just um, sort of the conduit for Wingham. Uh, what Wingham has told us as of now is it's a one-year warranty for Ram, one-year warranty. Uh, for Wingham and one-year warranty for the appliances. And again, uh, for water intrusion, it's a 15-year warranty on the monocoque shell, uh, not including uh, the windows or the um, skylights. Uh, but um, please email that to us and we will get back to you. We'll, we'll communicate with Wingham Corporate and find out. We might have a few more extra emails um, this week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, question here. We're just going to go really fast, rapid fire here. So Stacy wants to know racks for e-bikes that are 60, 70 pounds. Um, Two yes. inch hitch. The the um, bike rack is going to be able to accommodate both e bikes and regular bikes. Um, I e if you could email us, let me double check on the weight. But I imagine if it's made to accommodate uh, electric bikes, sixty or seventy pounds seems right in line with what it should weigh. So it should be fine. And the right email address again is at us is at, at us at Wingham W I N G A excuse me us at W I N G A M M dot com. Yeah, and another uh, question I saw, Scott, um, there's four passengers. There's seat belts for four passengers. So seat four in belts. And uh, uh, maybe Bill has a question here. Joel knows what's the height to top to the highest point. Scott, great job as always. Appreciate that. It's 117 inches. 117 uh, inches. So if you need to convert that quick, you can ask S-I-R-I. Uh, and, the, and she will convert it to you. We talked about that. Here's a couple of super chats. Let's give these folks some. Uh, uh, thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the work you provide. The latest information, especially this one. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jonathan. Really appreciate it. It's a compelling rig, isn't it? I am so excited to get my body into this and check it out and share it with all of you. Um, here's Bill. Uh, he's contributing uh, to the fun. Thank you, Bill. Uh, hopefully you saw my email. Sorry, it's been... Uh, we, we've been... Wait, we've been spending some hours together over the last what seven, eight days. I mean, Definitely. Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays. I mean, it's you guys have been putting some extra hours for this. And, so and, really we, and we are so appreciative to be invited on your show. And we're so grateful for all of your viewers and for all of the Wingham fans out there and our reservation holders for coming on and asking us questions. Um, you know, we have so much passion for this product and to see other people um, with the same passion and interest and enthusiasm is, is just so appreciated. I, I'm so... I, Ming's got a great point here. So uh, Jingle Majar, thank you, Ming. Appreciate that. Thanks for having Wingham on the show today. Made me fall back in love with it. So for, on your show, uh, 2022 Tampa show, I'll be putting down a deposit. So, uh, you. you know, I I kind of feel the same way. I'm like, wow. And I've seen more than you guys have. And I'm like, this thing's thank cool. You. I can't wait to share the overnight with you. It's going to be, we're going to have popcorn and libation live all night long. I don't think I'm going to sleep at all. Um Let's see, is there any more Super Chats? We certainly want to call them out. Joel and here's Teresa. Let's give her a shout out. Uh, great woo. I should make plans with all the buttons and gadgets. So new, yeah, no kidding. Right? Definitely. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, uh, can I do propane? Is it uh, propane uh, powering the trim? Is that fair, fair guess? It's actually uh, gas electric and mixed model. Guess look, so just like a ProMaster or a Winnebago Travada would know. Yeah. Are you gentlemen seeing any other questions that we really need to address? Here's Boris on the four point seatbelt, super important. Uh, uh, I, I, I might just throw this out there. I'm not, I'm not sure if I saw one question about this, but I want all of uh, your viewers to know that uh, there will be two options for the cooktop because a lot of people ask this. Uh, there will be an, in, there will be an induction option and just a regular gas cooktop. That is great. Um, John just got here. What's the big news? Um, please watch the replay. <laughs> Thanks, John, for showing up, man. Appreciate that. Um, so uh, we've had, yeah, four big announcements. And here's what I would recommend is, uh, let me show this quick. And because uh, we covered a lot tonight, but a good baseline are four 
YouTube videos that were created in January 2022 at the Super Show. Now, again, these the team is going to be there next month, January 2023 at the Super Show. But the Russos did a good walkthrough, uh, kind of technical. Now, some of these specs have changed. That's what we've actually talked about tonight. Uh, Paul and Chad did a pretty good uh, review. Uh, and um, Stranger Palooza was the first one to market with this video. It's like a 40-minute walkthrough. It's pretty involved. I think, Tony, you're actually in this one. Um, then I was late to the game. Um, you guys told me to come back the next day, which actually worked out okay because you're here tonight. And if I was the first one there, you'd be like, who's this guy? Um, so I would recommend watching all four of those and then stay tuned because we got a lot coming up from, from next month. And it's really just going to be um, a race to the, to the starting line uh, to get these rigs out. Um, so, whoops, let me do this. And uh, closing comments, gentlemen. Well, you know, I, I would just, again, I, I really, uh, this has been a very fulfilling journey for uh, Wingham CEO, Lorena Torre, for ourselves, our whole team in the U.S., and to get the support and enthusiasm from, from the RV community is so appreciated. And uh, we look forward to seeing you a lot, all, all of you that can make it to um, Tampa. We look forward to seeing you there. And for those who can't, uh, we will. 2023 is going to be the big year for us. So we'll have our, start to have our showrooms opening and we'll be hitting other shows. So um, we will make sure that uh, we get this product in front of each and every one of you. Yeah, just well said. And Joel, thanks for your, um, you know, just helping us with the technical stuff. Yeah, no really problem. Technical. Thanks for and thanks speaking for English fun. about it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> really appreciate it. So Absolutely. to and each of you. Like Tony said, just email us if there's any questions. We will get back to you. Um, I know tons and tons of questions coming through, and we'll we'll get through them and get right back. Hundred percent. So, us at wingham dot com. And yeah. again, a big thanks to Tony, and uh, for Joel uh, coming in from Canada, BC. So great, Vancouver. <laughs> and thanks to each of every one of you for um, watching the show tonight and on the replay. Um, subscribe. We'll see you guys uh, next week. We're decorating the van. You guys can show up for that. We're having libation live at the start of the show. Ways hang Christmas lights in the van. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, but just a huge uh, thanks for everybody, and we'll see you next thank week. You, Tony, Joel, Scott. stay in the studio. Scott, hang tight. It's a great yeah, program. Thank you. Scott. You betcha. We'll and see uh, y'all next week. Hang tight, Tony and Joel.